back for some more fun and games in our breezy five and one special. And which this time around, it's time for Jeffy for the Sega CD. Let's see how we do. Please enter your name. There I am. All right. In the Jeopardy round, one daily double will appear in one of these categories. We have waterfalls, movie monsters, ooh, Jules Verne, famous Armstrongs, college degrees, and we'll close it out with anagrams. All right. Contestant number one. Hang on a second here. Okay. I'd like an I'd like anagrams for a hundred, please. For one hundred dollars. About eight hours elapsed during the night while you're this. Contestant number one. What is a sleep? You'll have sixty seconds to provide your response. Yes, that's correct. I'd like uh, an grant for two hundred, please. For two hundred dollars. Here is the clue. While eating a sandwich, Paul got a few crumbs of it in his beard. Contestant number one. What is bread? Yes, select. All right, I'd like uh, anagrams for 300, please. For $300. The plot may not thicken, but the sauce does in this room. Contestant number one. What is the kitchen? Yes. Select again. Yep. I'd like uh, Anna Grace for 400, please. For $400. Let's take a look at the answer. The person who puts those things on the hooves of a horse. <laughs> Contestant number one.
Yes. Oh, That's wow. Right. Took a guess. All right. For $500. One of these machines powers the press of the Tribune. Contestant number one. What is a turbine? There we go. Yes, select again. College degree is 100. For $100. It's what the PH stands for in PHB and PhD. Contestant number one. What is philosophy? Oops. There. Yes. Select Before again. I misspelled it there. Two hundred, please. College degrees. For two hundred dollars. A D A V M is a doctor of this kind of medicine. Contestant number one. What is veterinary medicine? Or veterinary? What is veterinary? Of course. Yes. Select again. Uh, college degree is 300 For $300. The answer there is... An MS and ME is a Master of Science in this kind of engineering. Contestant what number one. What is mechanical engineering? Yeah. Yes. Select again. Uh, college degree is 400 For $400. Captains of industry know that an MBA is this. Contestant number one. What is a Master of Bachelor of Arts? Or a Master of... What is Master of Business Administration? Yeah, Master of Business Administration. My bad. Yes. Master That's of Business correct. Administration. Correct. Uh, college degrees for five. For five hundred dollars. The field in which the honorary degree LLD is awarded. Contestant number one. What is law? Correct. Three thousand dollars. I'd like Jules, I'd like, uh, Famous Armstrong's 100, please. For $100. His earlier nickname was Dipper Mouth, and he learned how to play the bugle in reform school. Contestant Let's number one. Who's Louis Armstrong? Or Satchmo Armstrong. All right. We'll say Satchmo Armstrong. Sorry, incorrect. It's Louis Armstrong. Anyone else? Louis Armstrong, yeah. That's who I should have gone with, but it's okay. Uh, famous Armstrongs for two. For $200. Answer? On radio, Dick York played Billy Fairfield, best friend of this all-American boy. Contestant number one. Who is Jack Armstrong? Yes, that's correct. Uh, 300, please. For $300. Henry Armstrong is the only pro to hold three world championships simultaneously in this sport. Contestant number one. What is boxing? Yes. 
Select again. Famous Armstrong's 400. For 400 dollars. Answer. He's Wapakonita, Ohio's most famous Armstrong. Contestant Who number is one. Neil Armstrong? Yeah. Yes. Select the Star Trek's 500. For $500. In 1933, American engineer Edwin Armstrong came up with this new radio system. Contestant number one. What is frequency modulation? There we go. Yes. Select again. Jules Verne 100. For $100. This 1869 novel 16th chapter is titled A Walk on the Bottom of the Sea. Contestant number one. What is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Sorry. Oh. Uh, thought I was right. Contestant number three. Sorry, incorrect. Anyone else? That's really correct. Oh. I don't know why they're t saying it's wrong. Yeah, oh well. Not gonna worry about it, we're just gonna move on. Jules Verne 200. For $200. In chapter 3 of this book, wagers are made whether Phileas Fogg can complete his journey in the allotted time. Contestant number 1. What is around the world in 80 days? Yes, that's correct. For three hundred dollars. While living in Paris, Byrne got advice from writing from on um, writing from this three musketeers author. Contestant number one. Who is Dumas? Alexander Dumas. Yes. Uh, four hundred, please. For four hundred dollars. Verne's first first published book. It describes an aerial journey over Africa lasting more than a month. Contestant number one. What is five weeks in a balloon? Yes, that's correct. For $500. In 1828, Byrne was born in this port city, 230 years after Henry IV signed an important edict there. Contestant number one. What is Nantes? Correct. Uh, movie Monster is 100. 
$100. This big ape was billed as the eighth wonder of the world by promoter Carl Denham. Contestant number one. Who is King Kong? Yes, select again. For $200. Answer? Raymond Burr was a reporter investigating this fire-breathing lizard in Tokyo in 1956 and 1985. Contestant number one. Who is Godzilla? Yes, select. Um, Movie Monsters 300. For $300. The movie monster played by David Hennison, Brett Halsey, Jeff Goldblum, and Eric Stoltz. What is the fly? Contestant number one. Correct. Movie monsters 400. For $400. In 1951, James Arnest played this vegetable-like monster from another world. Contestant number one. What is the thing? Yes. Select again. For $500. Claude Rains beats Lon Chaney Jr. to death with a silver walking stick in this 1941 film. Contestant what is number the wolf one. Man? Yes, that's All correct. All that's left is waterfalls. It's the Daily Double. I'm going to bet it all. What would you like to wager? This Venezuela waterfall was named for the American aviator who discovered it in 1935. What is Angel Falls? Yes. Select again. For $200. This continent's highest waterfall, Wallamombi, Wallamombi, drops 1,580 feet in New South Wales. Contestant number one. What is Australia? Yes. Select. Korea. For $300. California's Ribbon Falls, the highest single waterfall in North America, lies in this national park. Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. For $400. This waterfall in the Zambezi River is called Mosi Oatunya, or Smoke the Thunders, by local natives. Contestant number one. What is Victoria Falls? Yes, that's correct. Now we have one clue left. Let's take a look at it. For $500. The answer there is... Much of the electrical power for this mainland area of Newfoundland comes from Churchill Falls. Contestant number one. What is Labrador? Right. $15,600 at the end of the Jeopardy route. In Double Jeopardy, there are two Daily Doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. Let's take a look at them. They are 20th Century Novels, Economics, 
U.S. cities, actors of the past, Old Testament, and finally, invertebrates. Contestant number three. Okay. Where are we starting? For $200. 20th century novels for 200 Bud Schulberg's novel, The Disenchanted, is based on the life of this great Gatsby author. Contestant number one. What's up, Scott Fitzgerald? You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good job. I'll take uh, the twenty hundred dollars or four hundred. For four hundred dollars. This author is known for novels set in the Orient. King Rat was his first. Contestant number one. Who is James Clavell? Yes, select again. All right. I'll take $2,600 for 600 For $600? According to the title of an Ayn Rand novel, Atlas did this. What is shrugged? Contestant number one. Yes, that's All right. Correct. Uh, let's have a twenty hundred dollars for eight hundred, please. For eight hundred dollars, the answer there is. He called the loved one a little nightmare produced by the high living of a brief visit to Hollywood. Contestant number one. Who is Evelyn Waugh? Yes, that's correct. Twenty hundred dollars for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. The mansion completed this Southern author's Snopes trilogy. Contestant number one. Who's William Faulkner? Yes. Select again. Here we go. Uh, actors of the past two hundred. For two hundred dollars. Thomas Betterton died in 1710 and became the first actor buried in this abbey. Contestant what is number Westminster one. Abbey? Yes, select. Actors of the past 400. For four hundred dollars. Guinness says this ancient civilization's most famous actor was Quintus Rocius. Contestant number one. What is Rome? Yes. Select again. Actors of the past six hundred. For six hundred dollars. One dramatist said of Sarah Siddons' performance as this tragic lady, I swear that I smelt blood. Contestant number one. Um, who is Lady Macbeth? Good job. Actors of the past 800. For $800. Edith Evans was famous for her portrayal of Lady Brecknell in this Oscar Wilde comedy. Contestant number one. What is the importance of being earnest? Yes. 
Select again. Actors of the past 1,000. For $1,000. The answer there is... He wrote Captain Brassbound's conversion for the actress Ellen Terry. Contestant number one. Who is George Bernard Shaw? Yes. Select there we again. Go. I'd like economics for two hundred. For two hundred dollars, the answer is. Because growth comes through innovation, many firms have R and D departments, which are these. What are research and development departments? Contestant number one. Yes. Uh, let's take economics for 400. It's a daily double. I'll bet it all. What would you like to wager? The answer there is... Increasing government spending to spur national income and employment is called priming this. What is the pump? Yes, that's correct. Economic 600. For $600. President froze wages and prices for 90 days in 1971. Contestant number one. Who is Richard Nixon? Yes, select again. Economics 800. For $800, here is the clue. The reduction in value of an asset due to wear and tear and age. Contestant what number one. What is depreciation? Good job. Economics 1000. It's a daily double. How much would you like to bet? Put me at $90,000 if I get it right. Here is the clue. Financial advisor to Elizabeth I after whom the bad money drives out good laws named who is Gresham. Sir Thomas Gresham. Yes. Ninety thousand dollars for two hundred dollars. When polyps die, they leave their skeletons forming reefs on these. Contestant number one. $600. The answer there is... In order to grow, a crab must get rid of this. But don't worry, it grows a new one. What's a shell? Contestant number one.
correct. For $800, answer. Leeches are segmented type, segment types of these. Flukes are flat ones. What are worms? Contestant number one. Yes, select again. All right, a thousand. For a thousand dollars. Like a honeybee's, a crayfish's body has three parts, the head, the abdomen, and this. Contestant what number one. What is the one. thorax? Right. The Old Testament for 200. For two hundred dollars, the answer there is. According to First Kings chapter four verse thirty-two, this wise ruler was responsible for three thousand proverbs and one thousand five songs. Who is Solomon? Contestant number one. Yes, select. For four hundred dollars, here is the clue. He took the massive doors from the gate of Gaza and carried them to a hill at Hebron, forty miles away. Contestant Who number one. Samson. Yes, select. For six hundred dollars. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, he and his two daughters dwelt in a mountain cave. Contestant number one. Who is Lot? Yes, that's correct. Uh, 800. For $800. In 2 Chronicles chapter 28 verse 15 calls this walled city the city of palm trees. Contestant number one. What is Jericho? Yes, select. Oh, man. For a thousand dollars. She died while giving birth to Benjamin. Contestant number one. Was Rachel. Correct. All that's left is U.S. cities. For two hundred dollars. Its metro area includes Glendale, Mesa, Scottsdale, and Tet. Contestant number one. What is Phoenix, Arizona? Good job. For four hundred dollars. This largest city in North Carolina was named for the wife of King George the Third. What is Charlotte? Contestant number one. Wow. Yes. Select again. For $600, let's take a look at the end. This largest city on the island of Hawaii is about 30 miles from Kilauea Volcano. Contestant number one. What is Hilo? Yes, select. For $800. A year after becoming mayor of this New York City, Grover Cleveland became governor of the state. Contestant number what one. What is Buffalo? Correct. Now the last clue. For a thousand dollars. After Juneau, Alaska, this northern Florida city is the largest in area in the U.S. Contestant number one. What is Jacksonville?
Yes. Ninety-nine thousand dollars. Wow. And it's time for Final Jeopardy. We're back for Final Jeopardy. And the Final Jeopardy category for today is... Fictional Characters. Okay. Contestant number one. Contestant number one, what would you like to wager? Everything. The final Jeopardy clue is you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. Contestant number one, we'll start with you. Let's see what your response was. I said it was Lemuel Gulliver. Correct. And I've done it. And your final Jeopardy wager was your total? $198,000. Contestant number one, you are now the reigning Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. So, I have redeemed myself in my original first game of my original run of Jeopardy for the Sega CD, and I get to do another game soon, and we'll put that $198,000 in the bank. But we have to wrap it up for this segment. There's still plenty more 